Hey, Teddy here. Happy New Year! Now, did you guys miss Teddy's updates and where you guys get to hear me at? What's going on? What's currently going on with life as a YouTuber now? I know, I admittingly did. Now, for every future update vlog beginning with this one, I'm gonna do it seasonally. So, anyways, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you people have probably been asking me what's been going on with life as a YouTuber right now. Now, in case of you all wondering what's currently going on with the next episode of Casual Reviews with Barum Shot right now, well, I'm still in the editing phase. For those who don't know, and yes, people, I'm learning how to edit my own videos. Now, I know I don't normally edit an episode of Casual Reviews with Barum Shot myself, but for this episode that I'm currently working on will be a rare exception to the rule. Well, at least it'll give me the idea of doing mixtapes and parody videos on my YouTube page. Well, that is when I don't have anything to vlog on, as well as, of course, when I don't have any new episodes of Casual Reviews with Barum Shot for me to edit myself, nor upload on to over here on my YouTube page. So anyways, um, and, and I'm, and in case if you're um, wondering what's been going on with Battle of the Groups right now, well, um, for Battle of the, for, for Battle of the Groups, um, for those who don't know, I was originally going to make it as a web series, which you guys can actually watch. However, um, all thanks to this one play table game where all Disney Infinity figures, Amiibo figures, LEGO Dimensions figures, and Skylanders figures can all be used in one game in the form of Toy Box Stadium. I personally decided to make Battle of the Groups not just a web show, which you guys will have to watch when it comes out on YouTube, but also it will be a tabletop game in which you guys can actually play. And for those who have the urge to actually play Battle of the Groups and yes, people, you guys can now actually play it. Well, soon that is. Well... Anyways, for those who don't know what Playtable is, Playtable is a device where you can play board games digitally. And when it comes to Playtable for me personally, I'm, one thing about Playtable that excites me even more than anything else would be regarding to this one game called Toy Box Stadium, where characters from Disney, Pixar, The Simpsons, Scooby-Doo, Nintendo... Marvel, DC, and Star Wars can all meet in one game. And... Um, yeah, that's what excites me about Playtable even more than anything else would be Toy Box Stadium. And... Speaking of which... Um, and also... In a case if you're all wondering what, where is my fourth Mr. Code Awards vlog, well, let's just say, um, although I'd love to go back into working on it, for right now, I'm going to take a break from vlogging my thoughts on the Mr. Code Awards. Well, for right now, I'm going to take a break doing v vlogs, doing Mr. Code Awards vlogs, but instead I'm going to be finishing up making the next episode of Casual Reviews with Bear Rimshot. In the case of you all wondering why I would do be like that, well, let's just say it's a rather long story I'd rather not talk about personally. Because I fear if I did, then a lot of drama would happen, and I'm not going to let, and I'm not going to let any more drama come up to me again. And, and don't worry, people, a fourth Mr. Code Awards vlog will still come out soon. It's just that, well, for right now, I'm going to take a break from vlogging my thoughts on the Mr. Code Awards and instead finish up making 
the next casual reviews with Bear Rim Shot. And, um, and in, and in case you feel wondering whether or not I currently have any upcoming special vlogs in the, in the near future, well, outside of update vlogs, well, if I, if there's one special vlog I got coming out soon, it'd be one regarding the Star Wars celebration this year. I know, as I'm recording this. Star Wars Celebration will be goings on in Orlando, Florida. Now, the reason why I could not make it a Star Wars Celebration at all this year, as I like to, is because, well, this, during my, during Star Wars Celebration season this year, I have no choice but to take care of my youngest cousin. Why? Well, it's a long story. So anyways, now that I got now that I've tossed out all the news out of the way, I have some I have some things I need to address. Now the first one would be regarding to this. Now you may think that based on what I said in this one important announcement video I once did back in December was you, you guys think that I may be kidding based on what I said in my important announcements video, right? Well, you're wrong. Because whatever I said in the important announcements video, in the announcement video I once did back in December was actually true. And I really, really, really wasn't joking and I really, really, really was not lying when I said that the reason why I did that particular video is to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Mercedes Productions even, even if I managed to do it a day late. Considering the fact of how that on that same day, there was school I, that was going on, and also, and also there was a, not a lot going on that day, including having, after school, not only did I have to m miss out a Shabbat dinner, which I was supposed to go to, but also, I had no choice but to drive down to Maryland to celebrate an early Christmas, with my youngest cousin and my Moronto grandmother. So anyways, um, and speaking of which, I'm pretty sure a lot of you people, to anyone who may be new to Epic Battles watching this, or at least for sure by me personally, I'm pretty sure a lot of you people pro probably have been asking me, how come, I know a lot of people have been asking me this, how come Epic Battles is not on my YouTube page? Okay then. Well, if I had to be honest here, well, here's the thing. As much as I would love to be able to upload all the Epic Battles movies, TV episodes, and TV specials that have been made, well... It's been very hard for me to say, well, here's why. Here's my honest reason why. To anyone who may not realize this, this is a collaboration project. When it comes to doing epic battles, I am not the only head honcho of the creative team for that franchise, of that series. I have someone else who also helped co-created this series with me, and because of that, as well as due to the fact that it's been very hard for me to personally get in touch with him, it's been very hard for me to be able to upload all the Epic Bows movies, TV specials, and, and TV episodes onto my YouTube page. However, I'm, I'm working on I'm working on it. And in case you're wondering when I'll ever get to upload my YouTube page, I'm, if I can give an honest answer, I'm not sure. And to anyone who may not realize this, yes. There is a major difference between how I would handle when I do epic battles and how I would normally handle when I do casual reviews with Bear Rimshot. For epic battles, I'm not... This is a, a, a project I would do collaboratively. In other words, I'm not the only head honcho. I'm not alone when it comes to being the head honcho of the creative team for that. As I do have someone else who helped co-create it with me. 
Whereas for casual reviews with bare rim shots, on the other hand, that's when I would do it solo. True, I would normally have someone else help me edit, and I would normally have someone else. I would I would normally have someone else help me both film and edit, and I, and I would normally have someone else help me with title card. Now, despite all that, if we're Despite all that, normally I would be the only head honcho of that creative team alone. Meaning thus, and yes people, I reserve the right to do whatever I want to do for this series, even without receiving any major input from Azuchi Guardian. Meaning, and yes people, I have the right to continue the series all I want even without Azuchi Guardian's involvement. And yes, people, I have the right to do whatever I want for casual reviews with Bayer Rimshot, regardless if Azuchi Guardian likes it or not. And speaking of which, um... I have one more thing major I have to personally address. Now I know I've said in my second Mr. Code Awards vlog of how that... Now, when I, when I, while I was still sharing my thoughts on the winner for Mr. Code Award for Best Special Guest Appearance, um, I've talked about, I did manage to talk about of how that, how can I put this, I did get to talk about of how that, I did get to bring up the fact about of how that, and, that based on what Morgan was like in, when he was doing fantasy movie memories reminded me of what I was like when I was doing when I was collaborating with the Zuchi Guardian on casual reviews with Bear Rimshot. And I, anyways, when, when I made up an analogy regarding between, when I made up an analogy when I, when I made up this analogy about of how that Based on what Morgan was like to hear when, when doing fantasy movie memories remind me of what I would do to Zuchi Guardian for casual reviews with Bear Rimshot. I did s s say about of how that, despite all my gripes I would have against Zuchi Guardian when it comes to doing casual reviews with Bear Rimshot without me, then, then when it comes to doing the other shows that I did with him, like Codem Vega, Codem Deneb, Honesty Wars, and Heartless Winter. I did say about of how that, that that I do not mind that I honestly do not mind if he continued those other series without me. Well, and here's why I'm like that. Now, the reason why I I would not approve of Azuchi Guardian doing more casual reviews with Bam Show without me but would nevertheless approve of him doing more Codename Vega, Codename Denim, Honesty Wars, or Heartless Winter without me is because, well, when speaking about a show like Casual Reviews with Bear Rimshot, this is a show in which only I have the right to do whatever I want. I mean, as I said before, and yes, people, I have the right to not only continue the series if I want to, but also I've got the right to do a commentary on any of previous episodes if I want to. Well, like in other words, that if Azuchi Garden was going to do any commentaries on any of the episodes I worked on with him, he would have to get permission from me, whether he likes it or not. And also. And also, and yes, people, I have the right to reboot it if I want to, but I personally choose not to. Being that I never liked remakes, consider how unnecessary they can be. Whereas when speaking about the other shows that I've worked on with him, including Coney Vega, Coney Deneb, Honesty Wars, and Heartless Winter, on the other hand, these are all shows in which... Azuchi, which only Azuchi Guardian has the right to do whatever the fruit she wants with, even 
without more. I mean, and yes, people, he's the, he's got the right to continue with other shows I just named without my involvement. Meaning, and yes, people, um... Meaning, and yes, Suzuki Guardian, if you really, really want to continue, either Codename Vega, Codename, I mean, Codename Deneb, Aussie Wars of Heartless Winter Without Me, you, you can continue those other shows I just named if you want to, since these, since these shows I just named, these other shows I named, just your shows. It's just with casual reviews with Bayram Shad, you cannot do it all. Okay, only I'm going to do that series, okay? So anyways, it's all I have to say, and I hope you all have a happy Easter. And to anyone who don't celebrate Easter watching this, happy Passover. This is Teddy Sonia. Bye-bye!